both do that. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing wrong with this. Again, the main important thing is um, when you don't have coefficients that are exactly the same, you have to choose a multiplier. And you want to choose a multiplier that's going to make one positive, one negative. Now, you guys can see that this works for both the x and the y, but you just really want to focus with one variable. Don't get caught up in eliminating both variables. We really only want to eliminate one variable. So I'm going to try to eliminate the x. So to do that, as we kind of discussed, I'm going to multiply by negative 3. Just make sure you multiply everything by negative 3. So in doing that, I get a negative 6x plus 9y equals negative 18. Then my bottom equation remains the same. And as some of you noticed, now I have a pause. Oops, that should be, that's positive. So now, as you guys should notice, I have a positive and negative. They're exactly the same. So I want to add. So you go ahead and add the two equations. And what you notice is you have 0x um, plus 0y equals negative 9. Well, 0 times anything is just going to be 0. 0 equals negative 9. Is that equation, is that true? No, that's false. So yeah, we actually, just by trying to eliminate one variable, we ended up eliminating both variables. So when that happens, we have parallel lines. So if we were to graph them, they would produce parallel lines without an intersection, meaning we would have an equation that has, or a system that has no solution, which is also called inconsistent.